This lesson will focus on compound interest from the broad general education. When money is invested in a bank account, it can gain interest. The amount of interest gained over a period of time is known as the compound interest. Example 1. Paul invests £300 in a bank account with interest rate 2.4% per annum. Part A. Calculate how much money Paul has in his account after four years. Part B. Hence, calculate the compound interest. In example one, part A, we're looking to work out how much money Paul has in his account after four years. So to begin with, we're going to have to work out what our percentage is going to be. We're always starting at 100%. And because it's interest, we're going to add on. So we'll be adding on 2.4 to give me 102.4%. So from there, I'll convert into my multiplier. So a multiplier is just a decimal answer. So percent means pair 100. So if I want to convert 102.4% into a multiplier, I just divide by 100. So that gives me 1.024. So now I'm going to work out my new value. So to get my new value, I'll take my starting value, which was £300. And I will multiply it by the multiplier, hence why it's called multiplier. So multiply by 1.024. And it's after four years, so let's put it to the power of four. Okay, typing that in. 300 multiplied by 1.024 to the power of four. That will give me 329.8. Three. Now, it just keeps on going. Because this is money, we always have to round to two decimal places. So we have £329 and then 85 pence. So that's the bit that we should be familiar with. Now, part B. In part B, it says hence, which means we need to use an answer from above. Calculate the compound interest. The compound interest is the total amount of money we've gained over a period of time. So at the moment, we now have £329.85 in our bank. We started with £300, so all we're going to do is just subtract that away. So the compound interest will be equal to £29.85. Example 2. £5,400 is invested in a bank account with an interest rate of 1.7% per annum. Calculate the compound interest gained on the investment over five years. In example 2, we're looking to calculate the compound interest gained on an investment over five years. So to begin with, let's get our percentage. I'm starting at 100% and my interest rate is 1.7%. So that will give me an answer of 101.7%. To do our calculation, we need to get our multiplier. So 101.7%, that means out of 100. So therefore, that should be 1.0%. One, seven. Now we should be familiar how to find the multiplier just from our previous calculations. So what I want to do is get my new value. So let's take our starting value. We had £5,400. And we will multiply that by 1.017. And it's over five years, so I'll raise that to the power of five. So let's work out how much money we've got in the bank. I'll raise that to the power of five. So 
In my bank, I should now have 5,874.873 and it just keeps on going. So I will round that to two decimal places because it's money. Put my pound symbol in. 5,874 pence. Sorry, excuse me. 5,874 pounds and 87 pence. So, compound interest. The compound interest is the amount of money gained over a period of time. We started with £5,400, we now have £5,874.87. So to calculate the compound interest, we subtract them away from one another. 5874.87 and I will subtract 540. Zero. Now, you will have a calculator for these questions, so feel free to use it. It's best not to make a silly mistake. So if I take 5874.87, subtract 5400, I should have a final answer of £474.87.